not obligation so listen to your body we're gonna get right in you're gonna take your feet nice and wide if you have a squishy ball go ahead and grab it place it in your right hand you're prepping here for wide second bend to those knees inhale sweep those shoulders up as you inhale exhale back and down inhale push up guys we're gonna start off real slow but we're gonna get in there this is a terrible class the core of the end feels like death Drop your chin down, slowly roll your head side to side. Let this feel good, pause where it's good. Oh, take one more here. Now drop that chin to the center of your chest, back of the neck lengthen. As you inhale, sweep those arms up, reach up. Your left palm reaches. And then as you exhale, you sink that ball to the center of your chest. You push your hips down, you find your wide second. You press it back up, extend through the side body, send it back down slow. Now maybe start to find a little more depth on your wide second. Fundamental rule of plies, you keep your spine upright and long. So stay with it here. And when you stand, try not to lock out your knees. That just takes it into your joints. Keep it soft. Slide it down real slow. Press it up real slow. Stay with it here, guys. Send it down. Oh, this feels terrible today. We're gonna speed this up with the beat. Here we go, you take it, push, bend, reach, bend. So I want you guys still finding that soft bend when you stand, that's it. My hips feel terrible, guys. You have four more here. You have three, we're gonna slow it back down in two. We're gonna add a little rotation through our spine, last one here. Now guys, I want you to take it slow. You send that ball towards your right hip, Rotate through your spine, especially think about your left shoulder pushing towards right. Press it all the way back up, reach those legs long, send it down to the other side. You can mirror me or do it the side, the same side I'm cueing. Do your thing. You press it up, slide it down. One more time here, slow. We'll take it to tempo. Let's go faster. Take it, push, and then twist. Look down at the ball. Look down at it. You move your neck side to side. You push. You bend. You push. You bend. Now, guys, we're going to hold it in the center in four, three, two, and one. Now, guys, you stand it up. Hold it in the center. Slowly take those arms down. Heel toe your feet together. Take that ball right in between your thighs. Grab your weight. Simon was drinking my water. Okay, guys, we're going to get to like nitty gritty kind of small things while we do arms. So I want you guys to soften through your knees, find a squeeze on that ball, anchor your elbows in, right at your sides. They stay hugged in, palms face one another, you open those arms wide, you pull them back in. You're gonna feel this in your upper back. You're gonna feel your shoulder blades press down together. And now what's important here is that you're not just arching through your back, keep your tailbone heavy, Yes, that's it. I see you beautiful, so strong. Press it out. Pull it back in slow. Press it out. This is like that feel good shit. I love postural work. Oh, give me two more here. We're gonna add on. Last one here, guys. Now hold it here, find those shoulder blades. Get real intentional about it. Squeeze them down and together. Little press, little press. Are your knees still bent? Tailbones heavy. You're holding your plie bend. You're squeezing those inner thighs on that ball this whole time. Press. Press. You want four. We're going to send those weights overhead in three, two, and one. Now take it slow. Press those weights all the way out in front of you at an angle, not straight overhead, out in front. And then feel your lats, that area underneath your armpits as you squeeze back in. 
That's it. You press it all the way up. Make it big. Pull it down slow. You press it up slow. Now, guys, this class so far, you're like, oh, cow, I love this class. It feels good. It seems like you're like in a good spot today mentally. I am. Both of those things are true. Um, but guys, we're gonna get in and we're gonna really start to burn here in the arms soon. I'm building your tension in this beautiful, this you're taking this beautiful tension journey. We're gonna make it a lot harder here real soon, so just enjoy this. Try to settle in. Not everything has to be like 1,000% challenging. Yes, that's it. Feel that range, press it up, send it back down. Beautiful, guys, you have three more. You have two more, we're just fatiguing those shoulders because we're gonna get in there. Last time, beautiful, guys, press it all the way up, send it back down. Now find that pulse in your shoulder blades one more time, it's a squeeze press. I want you to become acutely aware of how your shoulder blades are drawn down and together and how your ribs remain closed because we're gonna maintain that and reach our arms out to a wide W in four, in three, in two, in one. Now keep those knees bent, reach those arms out slow. Your elbows remain bent. Pull it back and feel your lats. Really actively pull, reach it out. Yes, pull it back in. Feel that squeeze, you're strong, press it out. Pull it back in. Guys, we're gonna add a dumb little pulse in four. In three, we're gonna add that dumb little pulse on both ends in two, Last one here, guys. Now we add that dumb little pulse. You draw it in, you pulse one time. Reach it out, you bend, stretch one time. Draw it in, little pulse one time. Now this is where the tension's gonna start to build. You're gonna feel your shoulders, your biceps start to fatigue. I want you still squeezing that ball. Don't sleep on it, guys. I don't wanna pee when I sneeze. I still do, but it's better. It's getting better. I still pee when I laugh too. I just pee a lot, but guys, it's getting better. So hold that squeeze, don't let it go. We're gonna hold this out. We're just gonna pulse here in four, then we'll add on. The tension is building in three. You're like, Callie, I want the tension to go away. You do you, you drop those weights when you need. You take your breaks when you need. Last time. Now just what you've been stretching. Bend, stretch, bend, reach. Find that nice intensity in your biceps. Be intentional about it. Say, hey, biceps, what's up? Hello. Yes. Hey. Hey. Talk to them. Do you guys talk to yourselves? I don't know what it is. I think I'm just, I'm like losing it. I talk to myself nonstop. And then I go into work where I actually have to be around other people. And then I know so I'm just sitting there talking to myself at my desk. Guys, don't be like me. Get out of the house when you can. You have five. You have four. Guys, we're gonna slide those palms together. Add on in three, in two, in one. Now the tension stays. We slide those arms together. Send your chest forward, so try not to lean back. Get into it. Elbows remain high. You press it back. You find that bend stretch. Reach it forward. Hold. Press it back. Feel your upper back. Find that bend stretch. Reach it forward, elbows remain high. Press it back. Little bend stretch. Let's go faster. Take it in, out, bend stretch. In, out, bend stretch. Stay with it. In, out, feel your chest. Bend stretch, guys. I know this is burning. Stay with it. You can do it, or you ditch those weights and you say, bye, weird lady. Take it in. Press it out, bend stretch. Take it in. Take it out, bend, stretch, stay with it here, guys. Make sure those shoulders remain over your hips. I know this is terrible. You have four. Yes, you can, guys, three. Yes, you can go two. Yes, you can go one. Now I want you to hold it back. Keep those elbows bent and just pulse the backs of the hands back. Press, press. So this is more working into the backs of the shoulders and your upper back but you're still, like that, you're still holding that isometric contraction in your biceps, so it's terrible. Little press, little press. You have 15 seconds here, guys. You have 10, we get to release that tension in nine, in eight, yes, Hallie, seven. Yes, so strong, Annie, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull it in, come back to center. Press it out, forward, same way we started. Guys, this music, can we just have a moment here to thank all the musicians that make royalty? free music, first of all, that we can use. 
without a license, without payment. It's just free. But anyway, on Tuck Online, <laughs> I know you're used to your good beats. But guys, I'm trying to like bake more classes for YouTube so people can get to know Tuck Online and know us and know how cool we are. Yes. So I had to use royalty free music for YouTube so they don't block my account. Press and pull. Press it out and pull. Now guys, we're gonna hold it in. You've got your break in three. Are we ready? Are those knees still bent? Yes. Two and one. Now hold it in the center of your palms face. I want you to pull those elbows back without arching. Keep your front ribs closed down and now you press it all the way up your palms face the sky. You pull it back, feel your upper back. You can do this shit. Press it forward. Pull it back. Let's take it faster. You reach and you pull. You reach and you pull. It's like you're serving a tray. Whatever your tray is, keep your chest forward. Try not to lean back. I used to work when I was growing up. I used to work at Sonic. Guys, I was a car hop and I used to carry on roller skates all those drinks. Guys, Sonic was the best job ever. I still eat there, but there's not one around, which I think is telling. For those of you who have ever worked in food service, I think most people wouldn't eat at the places they worked at. I would still eat at Sonic 100%, even though they're a franchise business, so each location may be slightly different. But anyway, guys, I used to carry those big drinks on roller skates. <laughs> I thought it was so cool. 16 year old me thought I was so cool. You at four, I was cool. Three, we hold it out. We're gonna add that pulse in two. Last one. Now guys, we hold it out. Find your edge here. Send your shoulders forward. Your pulse this time, it's gonna be a half bend and a reach. You're gonna press it back. Squeeze those elbows, that's your pulse. Press it forward, it's a half bend and a reach. That's it. Pull it back, squeeze it back. Press it forward. Half bend and a reach. Keep those elbows high. Yes, that's it, Alexa. Pull it back. Reach up forward. Curl and press. Keep going here, guys. I know this is terrible. You up four. We're just going to hold it. Do that half bend and push. In three. In two. Are your knees still bent? That ball still squeeze. Last one here, guys. Now I want you holding it out here. Find that half bend and push. Try to keep everything up here nice and stable. Nothing moves above the elbow, just your forearms. In, yes, Lee, so strong. Out, in, out, in. It's small, it's terrible. I see you, whoo. Out, in, out, in. Stay with it here, guys, we're almost there. We're gonna make this hella small. In five, it's gonna be a little micro bend. You're like, what's a micro bend? You'll see. It's more like a punch. Think about punching out in four, in three. This music, guys, too. And one, now hold it out. It's just like a little punch out. Little press, little reach hold, little reach freeze, reach hold. Why are we doing this? It lengthens the lever. There's more tension right here. Yes, keep going, you have 10. Keep going here, guys, you have eight. We're gonna push those arms up overhead in seven. In six, you're gonna push those arms overhead. You can in five. In four, three, two, one. Now press it all the way up. Your palms face the back of the room. Try not to arch through your spine. Keep your tailbone heavy. These are so bent. Bend those elbows. Press them all the way up. Pull it all the way down. Press it all the way up. Bend through those elbows. Palms face the back of your back back of your back. You guys, I can't talk. Press it up. Keep those elbows hugged in. That's the key. You can tuck that chin. When you go to bend here, if it makes you feel better, you pull it. Make it big. This is mobility work while we're stretching. It's my favorite kind. I like feeling that little stretchy and then it's strong in it. Yes, that's it. Woo. Stay with it here, guys. Yes, you can. You have four. Stay with him. We're going to add a pulse on each end. In three. In two. Last one. Now, guys, when we pulse here in the bend, we squeeze our elbows towards our ears and hold. Press it up. Pull it back. Squeeze elbows back. Press it up. You're bending. Squeeze those elbows in. Last time. Press it up. Pull it down. Squeeze it back. Now, this time, press it up. Make sure your spine is neutral. Bend it. Just squeeze in and out. Squeeze those elbows in 
and out. You can tuck your chin, that makes you feel better. Bring it in and out. Try to hug them in. Now can you add that little ball squeeze? In and out. Squeeze in and out. As you pull those rib cages down, the top ribs press down. You're gonna feel more engagement in your core. And guys, once you squeeze that ball, you're gonna feel it all up in here. It's just all strong. Stay with it here, guys. Four more. Three more. We're gonna add one more layer in two. I'm sweating. It's like that uncomfortable sweat. Last one. Hold it in, and now press the back of the hands up. Press lift. Press lift. Squeeze the elbows in as you press. Press lift. Press lift. You have 10. This is where you finish, guys. Nine. I have a sweat mustache. There's no like nice way to wipe it off. It's just like, oh, there's sweat. Stay with it here, guys. Five. Almost there. Four. Yes, D. Go three. Woo. Two, guys. Then you can just stretch. Last one. Beautiful. Slowly release. Drop those weights. Drop that ball. Oh. Plie. Bend through your knees. Sweep those arms all the way up. Interlace the fingers. And now I want you to let your back arch. Arch as you pull the biceps towards your ears. And now drop your chin. Let the back of the neck rest heavy. Woo. Guys, we did it. I mean, we did that part. The bar stuff is juicy. It's terrible. And then the core is the worst. Guys, I promise. I'm selling this class hard. <laughs> I promise it's not too bad. Pull those elbows down. Open your chest. Now lift your chin back up. Arch through your spine as you Pull elbows back. Now take the reverse. Exhale. Round and press. Feel your belly press to spine. And now when you're ready, inhale. Sweep those arms behind you. Interlace fingers or grab opposite elbows. Push down and lift up. When you're ready, hinge at the hips. Draw yourself all the way down. Pedal those knees out. Wiggle those hips out. Shake your head yes and no. Whew. Drop that right arm down, both knees bend, right hands planted, reach that left arm up, pop your left leg long, you'll feel a little tingling down the side of your thigh, that's okay. Drop it down as you exhale, bend both knees, inhale, other side. Drop it down through center, heel toe those feet wide, take one little, I call these kimchi squats, my husband's Korean, so he calls them kimchi squats. But this is like a little malasana, a little goddess squat. You can take it wider. Beautiful, guys. Just open those outer hips. One breath. Exhale, push it up. Inhale, roll those feet together. Roll it up one vertebrae at a time. We're going to our bar. Roll those shoulders up, back and down. Let's do it. Grab your drink. You guys don't need anything. If you guys are feeling hella strong, you can grab a loop band, place it around your thighs. I just wouldn't recommend it. I can't do it. Okay, when you're ready, come to face your chair, your bar, whatever you've got. You're finding first position. Heels are together, toes are apart. Lift those heels up to your shortest little releve. So it's like a, about an inch or two off the ground. And guys, you're about arm's length away from your bar. Maybe a little closer. We're gonna hold our heels, squeeze together. Make sure your heels are squeezing. We're gonna drop those hips down, board count slow, keeping your spine long. In four, in three, two, one. Let's go, drop down four, down three, down two, down one. Squeeze those heels to lift for four, three, two, and one. Take it down for four, three, two. Squeeze those heels, press for three, Two and one, drop down four, drop down three, drop down two, drop down one, squeeze those heels, lift four, make it even, three, two, one. At the bottom, that's where I wanna rush. I'm like, oh, can I just press up real fast? Stay in it, embrace it, be like, yes. That tension is terrible, but I'm gonna hold it, squeeze the lift for four, unless it's too much, and then you keep your range higher, you say, bye your lady, give me four, three, two, and one, take the lift for four, three, Two and one, three more, four, three, two, one, squeeze the lift for three, two, one, last time guys, or two more times guys, four, I can't count, three, two, one, guys teaching bars not about counting, three, two, one, last time take it four, you're like yes it is, <laughs> three, two, one, I know, press the lift for four, for three, for two, 
for one. Now guys, I want you to find that edge where you feel uncomfortable, where your legs are like intensely holding. I want you to be able to lift your hands the whole time. This is not chair, this is diamond plie. And now we're gonna send those hips down three counts. Down an inch, down an inch, down an inch, up one count. Take it down three, down two, down one. Squeeze the lift, up one. That's it guys, down three, down two, down one. Squeeze the lift, up one. Two more. Down three, down two, down one, squeeze, up one. One more here guys, take it down three, down two, down one, squeeze the lift. Now I want you to find that edge. Take it down three, two, one. Hold it here. Just find that little pulse. It's a little sink of the hips down. Little sink, little sink. Four, we're gonna drop those heels, send our tush back. Three, two, one. Send it back, you're in your hinge chair. First position, toes are apart, knees are wide. You feel your weight shift to your heels so your tushy turns on. Take that tension out of your upper spine. Now guys, take it real slow, push it back forward. Send it back real slow, push it back. Send it forward real slow. And send it back. Send it forward. It's like a little seesaw, your belly's strong, Belly's still strong. But you're coming up, you're finding that short little releve. Now guys, we're gonna hold it back. We're gonna build that tension. So if you need to stand, take a stand. And then come back one more time, because now we're gonna stay in it. Okay, let's hold it down. Look down at the ground, protect your neck. I'm gonna keep looking at you. I want you to shift your weight to the center. So find like a little more shift towards the right instep of your right, or sorry, the instep of your right foot. When you're ready, without moving anything on the right side. Send that left toe to tap back, you're in a hinge curtsy. Your right tush turns on so much, and you're like, what is wrong with this person? I know guys, it's gonna get worse. So I want you to bring it back into first and just hold, tap it real light. Send it back, tap it real light. Nothing moves on this right side. Tap it back real light. Shoulders are soft. Tap it back. Yes, can you land like without any sound? Make it slow and strong. When you step it back, it comes, your left toes are coming back about two, two and a half feet behind your right heel. Yes, step it back. Press it forward. Step it back, keep it slow. Nothing moves, I see you. Guys, I'm just checking my camera. I heard it beep and like, <laughs> No, I'm nervous it's not recording. There's nothing worse than recording a full class and then finding out that your camera didn't get it all. Guys, it's the worst. Okay, you have four more. You have three more. We're gonna hover it in two, or you stay with this tap. Last one. Now, guys, you bring it forward. You hover it. Hover that left shin. Bring it back. Hover it. Oh, guys, your quad, your right tushy should all be on fire. Continue tapping if that feels better for you and stand up when you need a break. Guys, all of this is just an invitation. I have a sweat stash again. Stay with it, guys. We're gonna add on here in four, in three, keep it strong. You can do it two. Oh, yes, Ash, last one. Now we'll hold it back. You either tap it or you lift it. Point to your toe if you're lifted, just because you can. Slide that right hip back one inch. Now you explode, you press all the way up to your diamond. Ooh, squeeze those heels. You drop it back, send that left shin to hover. You've been there. Press it up to that diamond. Slide it back, dip that right hip. Press it up, dip that right hip when you slide it back. Stay with it slow here, guys. I see you, yes, Lord. Press it back slow, dip that hip, lift it up. So strong, AJ, slide it back. Get that tushy back. AJ, I know you're not taking this class. I'm calling you out for this class. AJ likes 20 minutes. She loves the bar snack classes. Guys, I love the bar snack classes. Don't get me wrong, 10 minutes, they're perfect. That's really all you need. Press it back, lift it up. Two more here, guys. Ooh, one more here, guys, we're adding on. Now press it back, you hold it. Right knee is hella bent. Way to shift it to the back of the room. 
slide that left leg long, squeeze left thigh towards right, and now guys, press it all the way up and over, it hovers. Try not to shift your weight, weight to the right, press it center, press it all the way back, slide it all the way up, press it back, squeeze that left thigh in towards right, press it up and over, slide it back, it doesn't matter how high you go, it matters that you're feeling that in your left foot, but the reality is you're working your stabilizing hip, that right side feels like death. Press it up slow. Send it back. Lift it up and over. Press it back. Lift it up. Now guys, we're gonna hold it back. We're gonna take out that releve. Take out that diamond. In four, we're just gonna helicopter our rainbow. Three, two, one. Hold it back and just send it up and over. Just send it up and over. Try not to let anything on that right side move. Keep it strong and stable. It is not moving. Press it up and over. Press it up and over. Now guys, we have one more layer. Oh, that tension. It is terrible. But guys, time under tension, it's one way to get yourself really strong. It's not the only way. If anybody ever says it's the only way, it just means they're trying to sell you something. There are very few yes and no's in life. There's always gray and nuance. Anyway, stay with it, you have four. You're like, I don't need your lecture. Three, stay with it here, guys. Two, Woo, last one. Now add that little extra pulse. Your right leg, it's a plie bend. Press it up and over, right leg, plie bend. Get in it, yes you can. Slide it down. Woo, guys, this is death. And I did like one tenth of what you guys have done. Stay with it. Press it up and over. You don't have to, guys. It's all optional. Press it up and over. Do not move that right side. Do not move anything in your torso. Belly stay strong. We're gonna hold it. We're gonna pulse it to finish with that right thigh. Hold it in that cross. Just take it, then stretch. Then stretch. This is where we finish. Press down more through the heel. Feel your heel ground, point through that left toe, squeeze that left inner thigh towards right knee, trying to be straight. Pulse squeeze, pulse squeeze, soften those shoulders. I like death grips. Try to release your hands, they're not helping you at four. We come back to center in three, two, and one. Now guys, press it all the way back to center, short little releve, down four counts, go four, three, two, one. So we still went for four, don't rush it, three, two, one, sit it down for four, guys, I'm just shaking. Three, please help, two, one, press it up for four. Three, spine stays long, you're sliding up and down a wall. Four, three, two, one, press the lift. Four, three, two, one, give me two more, take it. Four, three, two, one, squeeze the lift. Four, three, two, one, last time here, guys, go four, three, this is terrible. Two, one, lift it, four, three, two, one. Now guys, find that edge. Get down in it, where you're uncomfortable. We're gonna take it down one count, up three counts. Here we go, take it down one, lift, two, three, take it down for one, lift, two, three, take it down for one, keep it small. I know I'm coming up higher, take it down, lift, two, and one, take it down, lift, Two and one. Make sure you're squeezing those heels. Take it down, lift. Two and one. Last hand drop. Down, lift. Three, two, and one. Now drop it down. Hold it here. Squeeze those heels. Start to find that little pulse. Spine stays upright. I'm just spinning. Eight. Yes, you can. You get to drop those heels in seven. In six. In five. Soften those shoulders. In four. You drop those heels in three. In two. In one, now drop those heels, push the tush back. Knees are hella bent, belly strong, push it back up. Slide it back, belly strong, eyes on the ground. Press it up, slide it down. Two more here, press it up. Slide it down, one more here, guys. You push it back, you slide it up. Now I want you to hold it back. Shift your weight towards the center. Keep your shoulders soft, eyes on the ground. Left knee is hella bent. Your left tush is on, weight is in the left heel. Step right foot back into your hinge curtsy. Press it back and land it real slow. Land it light. So guys, this is key. 
Oh, you People are always like, when we do standing leg work, I feel it like more in my standing leg. I'm like, yes, your standing leg is working so much. Because think about this. You're shifting your center of gravity, right? And you're adjusting here without moving. So you're just absorbing all that tension. Oh, so it is no joke. I want you to make sure you're feeling this though. When we go into those little helicopter -y rainbow things, because guys, that's about extension of this leg. So you're going to feel your glute turn on, your hamstrings going to work, your inner thigh is all working. Press it back. Now guys, two more, we're going to hover. Ooh, guys, I finally watched that stupid reality show. It's not stupid, it's fine. Um, F-Boy Island, hover it if you choose. Bend it back, hover it, get in there. Don't be afraid of it. Press it forward. Hover it. Press it forward, belly strong, shoulders are soft, hover it. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's incredible. They say when they eliminate the F boys, they say, F boy, F by. It's, it's hilarious. Anyway, I only watched the first episode and then I skipped through all of it and then went to the season finale and it was incredible. <laughs> so much drama, guys. It's a funny reality TV show if you are looking for entertainment like that. Anyway, four more. Go three, go two, we're gonna hold it. Last one. Now guys, we hold it here, hold it back. You can tap it or lift it, sink that left hip back, press it all the way up to your diamond. Send it back, dip that hip one inch, press it up. Send it back, I see you leave. Press it, lift it. Guys, this is the hardest class I've taught in a long time. Press it. Just wait till we get to the core, we're not done yet. So I, I told you it started like nice, and then it's like built, it's like this roller coaster. But guys, you're almost up at the top and you just get to go way down. Give me two. Last one here, guys. We're gonna add on. I want you to hold this hover, hold this tap. Now lengthen that right leg long. Point through your toes, squeeze right thigh towards left. Engage your belly a lot. Take it up and over in that rainbow. Right toe taps on the other side. Press it back. Now lift your chest with the heels. Slide it. Press it up and over. Press it back. Oh, lift those heels. You're almost done. You slide it. Make sure that left knee is bent. Don't sleep on it, guys. Press it up. You slide it back. You take it rainbow. It doesn't matter how high that leg goes. You press it back to that diamond. Slide right leg back. Take it rainbow. Take it back. Back to your diamond. Last time here, guys. Slide it back. Take it rainbow. You're almost done. I see you, Katie. Press it back. Reach it forward. Now, guys, hold it back. Make sure that left knee is bent. Do not sleep on it. Take that rainbow. Just rainbow. We're building that tension. Press it back. Left hip stay static. Find that inner thigh on the right side. Really squeeze. Press it back. Send it up and over. You're almost there, guys. Press it. Up and over. Take it up and over. We're going to add that next layer. It's optional. You do not have to. In five, four, three, two, one. Now take it up and over. Plie bend. Take it up. Plie bend. Left leg. Take it up and over. Plie bend. Yes. Take it up. Plie bend. Guys, feel all four corners of that left foot. But I want you to especially ground through the heel. Try to send your tush back and down. Belly stays strong. Take it up and over. Reminder, oh, Carly just tuned in. You can tap here. Make it a little softer. Tap here. Make it a little softer. Tap here. Be nice to yourself, guys. Oh, man, I heard this quote the other day. Read it. It's an old quote. I think it was Socrates. You're like, please don't. Don't. Guys, I know, I'm not actually giving you a life lecture, but this little saying has been with me, this little quote, it says, it said, enjoy yourself. It's later than you think. Woo! Guys, I've been perseverating on it. Anyway, we're gonna hold it, right toe towards that left side, in four, we're gonna plie stretch left leg, in three. Guys, you're almost done, in two. Enjoy yourself, it's later than you think. You're like, please don't talk about things that are important. Stay with me. Last one here, guys. Now hold it here. It's bend, stretch. 
It's bend, stretch, bend, stretch. Find that deep, deep burn, guys. It's in here, it's in here, it's in the inner thigh. Your right toes is still working, right hand is working, right inner thigh squeezes as you stand. Right inner thigh squeeze. Whew. Yes, Lauren. Stay with me, you have five guys. You're out in four, out in three, out in two, out in one. Beautiful, slowly release, no more dumb stuff. Send it back. Find your L stretch, pedal those knees, wiggle those hips. You did it, let it feel good. Whew. When you're ready, bend through that left knee. I can't even bend. Flex through that right ankle. Guys, this is such a hard class. Make sure you stretch today. We just have core left. When you're ready, and cross that right foot. Send left heel towards your booty, towards your tush. Kick that foot into your hand, soften to the right knee. Stay here or continue kicking and take it into a little upper back bend. Oh. Now when you're ready, cross left ankle off the right. Send your tush back. When you're ready, step left forward, kick right heel towards your tush. Oh. Oh, guys, I think I'm gonna do a September challenge, like a 30-day self-care, fuck with the world things um, challenge on Tuck Online. And it's gonna be like part a part movement, but also part just be good to yourself, be kind to yourself, um, you know, be a little more intentional about priorities. All the stuff that I need to work on. I do these things selfishly, guys. Drop your hands down, bend those knees a lot, pedal your knees, wiggle your hips. But anyway, let me know in the comments if you guys would want a self-care 30-day challenge that incorporates more than just bar and yoga. Um, I know you took online, folks. You're still reveling in your spring challenge victory. Okay, guys, when you're ready, roll yourself up slow. We're gonna come down onto our mats. You just need your ball. If you don't have a ball, grab your squishy, roll paper towels, hug. Now all the animals are here. Simon's here, Carly's here. Whew. Okay, Simon, we gotta go. Guys, that bar series, I'm sorry for your body tomorrow. You're gonna grab your ball, you're gonna roll down onto your back. Now guys, this, this ab series is like a combination of things. So just listen to your body, take breaks. The thing you want to make sure you do is stay in neutral spine. So I don't want you like arching your back at all. Just stay in neutral, low back remains in contact with the ground. Come on down, grab your ball, place it in your right hand, take your left hand behind your head, but rest here. So the ball's gonna reach towards your chin. It may reach your thighs. You may be like, no, that's good for me. If you can, take your legs straight or mostly straight. Simon, you just bit my face. Simon, come on. Come here, little buddy. And I want you to find your neutral spine, exhaling, pressing gently into that ball. I have my ball on my chin. You may be lower, depending on your flexibility. You may be higher. Ah, uh -uh, Simon, Simon, Simon. It's really biting me. Press, exhale. Find your Pilates breath, press, exhale. Shh. Press, exhale. Shh. Press, exhale. Shh. Now, once you feel like you have connection between your low back and the ground, don't lose it. Even on your inhale, you sip it up here. Don't lose that connection. Left hands behind your head. So, work your head, roll it up. I like to look down at my belly. Roll it down. Exhale. Shh. Inhale. Exhale. Shh. Inhale. Exhale. Shh. Inhale. One more time here, guys. Exhale. Inhale, now hold it up. It's just a little pulse. Little reach, little press, little reach, little press, little reach, little press. Yes, stay with it, Ash. You have five. We hold it four, hold it three, hold it two, hold it one, hold it. Maintain that pressure. Inhale here, roll it up just a little centimeter. Exhale, left leg draws down towards the ground. We exhale forcefully to help keep our pelvis neutral. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, Shh. press that ball. Inhale, roll it up, exhale, Shh. press that ball. Inhale, roll it up, Shh. 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 inhale, 
Roll it up. Lower left leg. Last time. Inhale. Roll it up. Exhale. Now hold it. Just a little press for eight. For seven, guys. We get to switch to the other side. Stay with it. Six, five, go four, three, two, and one. Now, guys, draw your head, neck, and shoulders down. Press that ball into the bar, into the floor. Do not let your low back move off the ground. Helicopter those legs up and around. Press into that ball. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Press that ball. It's gonna help you maintain that connection in the top part of your belly. Inhale, exhale. Press the ball. Helicoptering slow. Now guys, if this is too much for you, you don't wanna work in that outer range. It doesn't feel good for your hips. Take your knees into a bend and just press like you're kind of tapping one foot forward and then tapping the other foot forward. That's beautiful. You live your life, do your best thing. Stay with it here, guys, wherever you are. You're pressing that ball down wherever you are. Try to extend those arms just a little longer. Press, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Woo. One more time here, guys. Inhale, exhale. We're gonna hold left leg up. Inhale, exhale. Now hold that left leg up. Reach that ball up. Slide right leg up to meet it right hand behind your head. Roll it up, exhale. Inhale. Don't, don't fight it, guys. Hold it. Try not to roll all the way down. Tuck your chin. Guys, you can be here pressing. But I want you pressing. It's going to help you engage a little deeper. Last time here, press it up. Roll it down. Now we hold it up. We find that little pulse. It's a press roll. Press roll. Press roll. Press roll. Press roll. Stay with it. Reach towards your ankle, towards your shin, wherever you are. Press roll. Press roll. Yes, Johan. Press roll. Press roll. Press roll. You have five. Annie, I see you. Four. You are almost there. Go three. You are almost there. Go two. Go one. Now hold that roll. Inhale. Roll it up one more inch. Exhale. Right leg drop. Press that ball. Inhale. Draw it together. Roll it up. Exhale. Press the ball. Yes, Cass. Roll it up. Press it up. Exhale. Shh. Inhale. Oh, roll it up. Exhale. Shh. Inhale. Roll it up. Exhale. Right leg drops. Stay with it here, guys. Inhale. Roll it up. Exhale. Shh. Two more here, guys. Roll it up. Exhale. Shh. You're almost done. Inhale. Roll it up. Exhale. Hold it long. Find that little pulse here, a little roll, little press roll, little press roll. Your tailbone points towards your right heel. Don't let it move, you have five. We take that ball behind us in four, three, two, one. Ball comes behind us. Press your ribs down. Inhale, exhale. Helicopter those legs around. Press the ball. Inhale, exhale. Press the ball. Helicopter those legs. Inhale, exhale. Press the ball. Guys, are your hips popping when you do this? Mine like are making all these sounds. Stay with me here, guys. Inhale, exhale, press the ball. Inhale, exhale, press the ball. I feel like my knees creak too. Inhale, exhale, press the ball. Stay with me, guys. Take your breaks when you need. This is my break. Guys, we're almost done. This was horrible. What a terrible class. Inhale, exhale, press the ball. You have three. Inhale, exhale, press the ball. Two. Last one here, guys. Carly, hold on. Now, guys, take that ball back up to your shins. Draw the legs together. Press that ball. Roll it up three inches. Roll it down one inch. Roll it up three inches. Roll it down one inch. Roll it up. Exhale three inches. Roll it down just one inch. You're almost done. Roll it up three inches. This is our last little push. Roll it down one inch. You can do it. Roll it up three inches. I'm just spitting. Roll it down one inch. Two more, roll it up three inches. Take it down one inch. Last one, roll it up three. Roll it down one. Now hold that roll up. Hold it, press gently into that ball and just try to find that little inch push. Little inch push, guys. You have 15, you have 12, you're done in 10. Go nine, yes you can. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, dead. 
Woo, take that ball in between your thighs. Drop your knees over to the left side. We did it, guys. That was really hard. Great work. Good job. Go you. Take it to the other side. Oh, I'm kind of like massaging my butt here. <laughs> you could kind of get like the benefit of the hard floor if you just kind of roll around. It's amazing how simple things like that make you happy. Ugh. Okay guys, when you're ready, draw the knees to the center, remove that ball, grab the outer edges of your feet, your calves find your happy baby. You can keep your knees in. Guys, what a great class. Okay, if you like our classes, we're from Tuck Bar and Yoga. Our online classes are available on Tuck Online. If you just go to our website, tuckbaryoga.com, there's a little tab that says Tuck Online. You can also follow us on Instagram. Anyway, we're gonna slowly guys draw the knees together, press ourselves up to a cozy seat. Anyway, um, yeah, come see us. We have hundreds of classes. It's good. Um, it's $10 per month. Reach up, inhale, exhale, right arm down, reach your left arm up and over. You can support your head. Um, I promise all of the classes are really challenging and there's all levels. So you can take beginner classes, intermediate, advanced, you can filter by level, um, by type. We do cardio, all the, all the things. Press it back through. And we just have a good group of people. I always say it like, we do fitness without a filter. I hate social media. I don't hate it. Some people use it in such a nice way and it's lovely, the connection. Some people use it to make, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, um, <laughs> I forgot where I was going, but we're like, we're real. We show ourselves, we are who we are. We're very comfortable with that. Drop your hands down. We'll take one final breath, reach up. I'm done with my sales pitch. It was a terrible one anyway. Exhale, release. If you like it, buy it. If you don't, don't buy it. You'll figure out a way to buy it if you liked it. Okay, bye. Bye. Oh, that was so hard, Carly. That was so hard, Carly. But we did it. We did it.